I remember laying in the bed with my wife and my mother-in-law called me and asked us to turn the TV on and we did and, we, and that was the first we had seen what had happened. Uh, probably two hours later we get a phone call from the coaches, hey don't come in, this is what's going on, we'll you know, update you further. So it was like that day and the next day we kind of stayed away from the field. Uh, I know we were playing the Phillies at home, they sent the Phillies home by bus. And then we had a few days off and then we just started doing some workouts and then the next thing you know we were told that uh, you know we were going to New York to play the Mets uh, you know shortly after that so uh, you know to, to hear you're going to New York after what just happened I mean it was kind of uh, hit you kind of deep but then you just kind of sit back and go this is going to be kind of kind of special as well you know to be the first professional sports team or any sports team to play in New York City after 9-11 uh, you know it was pretty special to get told that it just starts hitting deep you know you get close to the game you know, you go out for the national anthem, the entire flag covers center field, and you know, we're sitting there on the line. I'm standing, I mean, I'm standing there on the third baseline, and you know, the Mets are on the first baseline, and you just kind of look around and you see grown men tearing up, and that right there is when it kind of sit with us, like, wow, this is really special. And just to be there, and the stands were full, you could hear a pin drop during the national anthem, and then the just to hear everyone cheer after the National Anthem was over, I mean, those people needed that. And, you know, then of course we had to get ready to play, but just being there for the National Anthem just kind of put everything in perspective of what just happened, what we're getting ready to go through with this game, and, you know, how much it meant to not only the players and baseball, but also, you know, the fans in the city of New York. We took the lead, and then, uh, of course, Mike Piazza, you know, hit the winning home run. Lopez wants it away. And it's hit deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. Home run by Piazza. And the Mets lead three to two. To, to lose the game, you know, you really didn't even think about it. And, you know, to kind of put all that in perspective, we came in the clubhouse and I was playing for my Bobby Cox was the manager. And, you know, he pulled us together and he said, you know, guys, you'll never hear me talk about losing. I hate losing. I hate it with a passion. But I wanted them to win that game tonight. The city of New York needed that, the Mets needed that. Everybody around that had anything and everything to do with 9-11, you know, losing someone close to them or, or whatever, needed the Mets to win that game. So it happened for a reason, so you tip your hat to them. And when you hear a manager of Bobby Cox say that, that he hated losing, yeah, it just brought it all perspective. Of we, it was meant for us to be there that night. It was meant for the game to end that way. It kind of took the fear out of people, you know, because people were fearing for their lives after that. You know, what's next? What's next? I think that's what everybody was thinking. What's going to happen next? What are they planning next? So for, for baseball to get back going again and to push forward and to bring, you know, the fans together and, you know, just, just families together, you know, that was huge. I mean, I think it, you know, it never took the fear away, but it, it helped ease it some to where, you know, people could just go have fun and take their minds off of what just happened, and, and it did. I mean, to play baseball there at the end of September and then in October, you know, that's what the world needed, the country needed, and, you know, we were, I was you know, blessed to be a part of helping with that, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's something you never forget, but it was a special moment.